Okay, review one, problem 1.7, we are asked to look at this series, summation k equals 4 to 13, of 3 times 1.4 to the 2k plus 1, and evaluate it accurate to three decimal places. This is an example of a geometric series. Uh, there are several ways that this can be done. Um, the way that I will do it here is by using a change of index. So the change of index that I'll use is, I'm going to change the index so that I can use the formula that we developed in class where the bottom number is a 0 as opposed to a 4. So to make that change of index happen, we're going to let j be equal to k minus 4, so that when I take 4 minus 4, I'll get something starting on 0. So to make this work, that means that k is equal to j plus 4. Also, I need to worry about the endpoints. If k is equal to 4, that means that j is equal to 0. And at the other extreme, if k is equal to 13, 13 minus 4 is equal to 9. So that's j equals 9. And so by applying this uh, change of variable, we get that this is equal to summation j equals 0 to 9 of 3, 1.4, 2 times. Now instead of k, I've got to replace it. So j plus 4 plus 1. And so this simplifies as summation j equals 0 to 9 of 3 times 1.4 to the 2j plus 9. Now let me rearrange this. This is equal to summation j equals 0 to 9, 3 times 1.4 to the 9 times 1.4 squared, whole thing to the j power. Now, ordinarily, you wouldn't take this simpler thing and split it up into this more complicated thing, but clearly, 2 times j plus 9 would give me the exponent that we see here. <clears throat> now, there are no j's inside of this, and so that can be factored outside of the summation. 3 times 1.4 to the 9. Summation j equals 0 to 9 of 1.4 squared to the j power. From this point forward, we can use the formula for a finite geometric series that was derived with induction. And so we get this is equal to 3 times 1.4 to the 9 times my r is the thing inside the brackets. So 1.4 squared raised to the 10, 9 plus 1, minus 1 all over the r, 1.4 squared, minus 1. And then it's just a matter of plugging into a calculator to see what we get. And assuming I did the arithmetic correctly, I get 53,956.489. And that would be the answer accurate to three decimal places. So. There are several ways that this can be done. Uh, this can be done a different way using the formula for a finite geometric series. Um, this is probably the cleanest way of getting at it using the formula, directly using the formula for the geometric series that we derived in class.